Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Carrie here with my daughter, Molly. She is my little assistant this morning to work on this little project with us. We are talking about community helpers. And before, thank you, <laughs> Molly's gonna write down the name of a community helper while I talk to you, and then we'll go back and we'll read what she wrote, okay? Yesterday, you had some videos you could watch about community helpers and who they are and if you know of any in your neighborhood. This morning, Miss Erica sang a really fun song about who are the people in your neighborhood, the helpers in your neighborhood. So I hope you enjoyed that too. I am actually dressed up as a community helper today. I'm not a teacher. Well, I am a teacher, but I'm not dressed up as a teacher today. I'm actually dressed up like, do you know what this says? Trader Joe's. I am wearing my husband's outfit for Trader Joe's. He is a community helper. He has been working really hard to make sure there is enough food for all of us at this time. And uh, stacking cans, putting out produce and vegetables, and working to make sure that we're all fed. And so he's a community helper. Molly, tell us what you wrote up here. I wrote firefighter. A firefighter is and a great tip. community helper. If your clothes catch on fire, you stop, drop, and roll. Say that again. If your clothes catch on fire, you... Stop, drop, and roll. Exactly. Thank you, Miss Molly. We, um, with firefighter, what we've done at my house is we have talked about how to get out in a fire. So what you could do today is draw a map of your home, where your bedroom is, and where the closest exit is to your bedroom. You don't wanna pick your back door to the backyard. You wanna pick the front door and get out of your house, right? So you could work on that today too. Molly, what else did you write? I wrote call 911 if there's a fire. If there is a fire, you call 911. Thank you. Don't that... call if there isn't an emergency. Thank you. That is so helpful. Never call 911 unless there's an emergency. All right, Molly's going to put up another community helper name and let's try to see what she's writing. Ooh, letter D. 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 Ooh, da. 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 K. Doc. Doctor. Doctor. We'll work on spelling later. Doctor. <laughs> Okay, so what you could do at home, you could do some role playing. Do you guys know what a doctor is called that takes care of animals? Vet. A vet, a veterinarian. You could get out your stuffed animals and you could pretend that you're a doctor for your animals. And you could bandage them up, you could put a band-aid on them, you could pretend to take their temperature and take care of your little stuffed animals today and you could be that doctor. Speaking of temperature, my dad has a certain thing that takes care of food. We shine it on it. It has a bright red light, and then it takes the temperature. Of the food, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it also did it on me, too. Okay, so we have a doctor and a vet. And we talked about what you could do at home with those. Can you erase that and write down the next one for us, Molly? Thank you. There's and nurses, market. too. Remember, doctors and nurses, too, are very important community helpers, and they're working really, really hard right now to help us um, to be healthy and to take care of us if we are sick. So the next community helper is a mailman. Miss Erica sang about a mailman this morning. What you could do if you'd like to this week is you could write a letter to someone and put it in the mail. And there's your little envelope. Thanks, Molly. You could write a letter, draw a picture, have mom and dad help you with the words, and send somebody some mail. It's always nice. In fact, I have received some wonderful letters from some so of you in the mail, and I really appreciate I it. I got a really pretty necklace. <laughs> okay. The next, um, the next one we actually already talked about, but we haven't written it down yet. Hmm. What have we talked about but haven't written it down yet? What was this one again? Do you remember? Hmm, let's see what Molly's gonna, what she's gonna write up here. B, R, Y. So let's, let's sound it out, okay? She wrote a G, 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 and then an R. Grocery worker. Grocery worker. And that was an example. My husband is a grocery store worker, working really, really hard. You, this would make mom and dad really happy probably, you could go into the pantry 
and you could organize your pantry. Maybe that's what you could do as a grocery store worker today. Um, and people also put their food in bags. In bags at the grocery store, that's right. Molly, be, don't write any more up, but can you tell us another community helper that we know of? What's somebody who cleans your teeth? Dentist. A dentist? Dentist? What's another community? Oh, they come in. Police we have officer. Police officer. Absolutely. In fact, you could write tickets today. You could set out your stuffed animals and pretend that they're in cars and catch them speeding and write them a little ticket, <laughs> right? We always have fun with community helpers because there's so much fun role play. And it's kind of fun to feel like you are one of them and put yourself in those shoes. So I hope this was just a fun little activity to add to your week. We sure miss you. Have fun with this and take a picture. Send me a text message if you do any of this. I'd love to see it. All right, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.